hi guys and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new model from Orca Torch, the T710. It now seems that they come in this nice new protective casing, which is quite nice to transport them. But let's not talk too much about the casing and let's open the actual, well, package. In here we have very nicely assembled, first of all, and I want to leave the light for the last thing, the battery. In here we have a 21700 battery, it's similar to their D700 model, which we reviewed previously on the channel. It has 5000 milliamp hours of capacity, and the most interesting thing on the battery, again, is the Type-C charging capability. This means with this small cable which is in here, you can via USB charge up your battery. On the side, we can't see it right now, but there's a small power indicator, a red and I think a green light, which will show you when the actual battery is charging or fully charged. By sides, of course, the small charging cable, which is in here, we also have, as usual, a spare set of O-rings, which is always quite good to have on this kind of light. On the other side, we have a few small paper, well, let's call it pieces. First of all, of course, we have the user manual. If this is the first light you're using, definitely take a read-through. There are some interesting things, but also if it's just a brand new light, some informations are, well, never bad to have about the actual light you will be using on future dives. Then here we have a little bit of a prospect over the other models which they have. Most of these we have also already took, taken a look on the channel. So quite nice to have, to have a bit of an overview what they're actually offering. And very important, the warranty card. So if there is anything with the light, here is the information on how to contact them. And well, in the worst case scenario, um, apply for a warranty change, but so far I don't think we're gonna have this problem, at least I didn't have it so far with quite a lot of torches I've been using from them. And then here we have the actual D710. First of all, and what you're probably gonna see and realize if you watch my channel a little bit oftener, is that actually it looks very similar to its, I wanna call it little brother, the D700, in terms of design, in terms of size, Maybe it's a little bit longer, but all the rest is exactly the same. Even the LED is not exactly the same one, it's a little bit bigger, but it's the same manufacturer and it's the same series of LED. And just, if it wasn't for this little bit longer piece due to the switch, we could say they're exactly the same. I'm gonna come back to this one again because we're gonna compare it. But basically what really changed is the switch. Now we have a switch which is very similar and actually exactly the same as on the D530 already, on the D570 with the laser. It's exactly the same kind of switch. So it's quite nice. We have a small power indicator there in the middle. It's not as strong anymore as it was before, but still we can really see how the battery status is when we are using the light. All the way in the back we still have this nice protection for the actual light, this nice rubber ring. We have a nice big mounting hole for the actual light. And of course also I think there actually was a, well, um, a lanyard included as we always have. In this case I guess I didn't put it back because as you guys know I always dive these lights before I review them. So this light already has done around three or I think, I think even four dives in this case. Coming a bit further front to the light, again here in the front we have a thread. The thread matches the 30.5 millimeters filters that we can buy in different colors and we can screw them on here to filter the actual light. I don't have any here, I don't need them, but this is a good option for those having them. You could theoretically even mount the snoot from the D530V and, well, it's not going to, that you're going to get a better light out of it, you're actually going to lose quite a lot of output, but theoretically it would work. Now I already opened the light and I want to give you a quick look here at the actual O-ring setup and I think this looks really clean again, we have a nice clean thread, it's also anodized the actual thread, so they actually anodize it after cutting the thread and in here we can have a separate actual battery tube, so this is a completely separate tube that connects the negative pole to the driver and not leaving any risk of a cathodic or electrolytic corrosion on the actual battery barrel, so there is no energy or no electricity better set flowing over this part. Now we're going to close the actual light down and when the light is closed it doesn't come on right away. We do need to press the button and when we press the button the light comes on on the highest mode. 
Here we have an output of around 1700 lumens and until now if I would turn on the smaller brother the D700 we have basically the same output also in terms of light angle around 6 degrees they say and that's quite true we have almost the same light. I'm noticing now that the D710 is a little bit warmer in terms of light color but the difference is very very minimal. Now the biggest difference actually to the D710 compared to the D700 is that the 700 is just an on off switch. There are no buttons, it's a very easy to operate light whereas on the D710 we now have a switch where we can have three modes. So we have a high, a mid a low as well as enough. And now comes the very nice advantage and they call this the so-called turbo mode. Whenever the light is on in any of the three modes and you keep the switch pressed, the actual output will go up to up to 3000 lumens. And you can see this very well when it's on the low mode and you press it, it goes up up to 3000 lumens. It works a little bit similar like the laser on the D570 where when you press it, it goes up, when you let go, it goes down. But it's quite a nice feature because then you have a really small light with a single battery, a super light, super small light, but it outputs up to 3000 lumens on a very, very small spot. And I think you can see the actual difference now happening. And I think for 3000 lumens, this is a great light. And even for the continuous 1700, it's really really good in terms of size in terms of quality as i said i already dived it a few times and i would just say let's just jump into the water and let's see how the d710 performs as usual on a nice wreck dive so let's go Alright guys, so here we are again with the D710 in our hands. I hope you could get a little bit of a better idea on how this light will perform for you underwater. Of course, inside of the rack, it's always nice to see the actual output, the spot and how it actually performs. And I think it's always important to see that before buying an actual light. Now, of course, I still have this D700 laying here because this and up today or up till today, this was my favorite light in the last month because it's a very small, a very strong and a very easy to work with light. We have a nice battery which is USB chargeable, you can take it basically everywhere, you have a power bank with you and you can charge it up. Now here with the switch, with the turbo mode, I think I got my new favorite and of course we are talking about the small lights. If you're talking about the canister lights, of course there are more stronger, bigger and maybe even longer lasting lights there. Between the two, and let's get back to these, between the two, you need to see what you like. I can really recommend both of them. The only biggest difference, and this is also what you're paying more for the D710, is the switch and the turbo mode. All the rest is basically exactly the same. So you need to see for yourself if an on-off light is enough for you, or if you need the switch with, of course, also the power indicator. I really like both, I keep of course both of them and I look forward going diving again with these two. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope I get, could get you a little bit of a, well, let's call it a better idea about the D710. Maybe if you're looking for it, maybe if you're just interested about it. And of course I hope to see you back again on my channel very soon as I got a lot of other lights which will be published very very soon. So see you then, stay safe and have fun dive.